what are you doing here? You know you're not even supposed to be down here in the lab. This is still a secret project. All right, while you're here, I'll show you what I've accomplished so far. Come on. As part of this upcoming project, one component will be a DNS server that will always reply with the module's IP address. And I coded this bit of software with Lua um, in the version from February 12th. And this worked okay, although it's not a very nice piece of uh, software yet. It could easily be derailed with a crafted um, DNS request. Uh, it worked okay for the purpose. Uh, a day later, another version of the um, Node MCU software was released. Of course, I uploaded it, had a try, and see for yourself what happens. If I start NSLOOKUP and set the server, i.e. the DNS server, uh, to be the Wi-Fi module and send a request, it never answers. It takes a moment and times out. And the ESP module simply resets. You'll see that in a second. Yeah, here we go. Uh, happened all the time and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. But there was only a minor change, so I thought... Use the force. Read the source. The only interesting bit in the source code that uh, sounded a bit suspicious was the fourfold increase in buffer size. So I decided to take that out, recompile the version along with one or two more changes that I'll get into a little later and flash that to one of my modules. It'll come up with a custom message now. So I can tell it from the other modules that have the stock firmware. Now if I run the DNS server software and send a DNS request from the, uh, from the server, you'll see what it does. It's a different module, so I need a different address. Yep, sure enough. It works, and this firmware version running on the module now also has a DHCP server that serves the DNS, that sends the DNS um, address with it and I removed uh, floating point operations so uh, so it saves a bit of um, of memory. <laughs> 